It was hard enough for the Malaysian airline to rebound from the mystery that surrounds the fate of flight MH370, let alone two tragic incidents within the space of few months. However, the crash of flight MH17, which was shot down in Ukraine, appears to have more political implications. Before the investigation even begins, Britain and the US were already urging the international community to impose further sanctions on Russia. The Home Office Secretary Theresa May announced that an inquiry will be held into the death of the Russian spy Alexander Litvinenko, which her British government was resisting to hold since 2006. At the time, the government demanded that all secrets involving Litvinenko's relations with MI6 be kept out of a public inquest. France could also suspend the delivery of a warship to Russia. Western leaders began accusing Russia of arming the rebels in Ukraine and believed that they were responsible for flight MH17's crash. Moscow, on the other hand, has repeatedly denied any participation in the tragedy and has voiced disdain for these accusations. And while Western powers are accusing President Putin of the Malaysian Airlines tragedy, his plane was said to be traveling almost the same route as flight MH17. President Putin was on his way from Brazil, where he attended the BRICS summit. An unidentified Kremlin source told Interfax news agency that the presidential jet and the Malaysian Boeing intersected at some point and the same echelon. The presidential jet was there at 16.21 Moscow time and the Malaysian aircraft at 15.44. The resemblance between the two aircraft is striking. The contouring and the colouring are very similar. Was Putin's plane the target? The Kremlin did not issue any statement confirming or denying this information, which is usually kept confidential for security purposes. A number of facts are still missing. Mainstream Western media reported that the plane was shot down by ground-to-air missile system even before the investigation began. UK Prime Minister David Cameron called them Russian missiles. Why not a fighter jet, since firing missiles from the ground could not be performed without assistance of satellites, which could easily be intercepted by other satellites that could locate the exact point from which the missile was launched. In a normal world, these anticipated accusations could be understood as a clear escalation for war. In response to the downed Malaysian plane, President Putin urged state leaders not to politicize this tragic event. He also said that Russia will do everything in its power for a full, comprehensive, deep and transparent investigation.